Hello all out there. Um, I thought I'd share this with you. It's not too interesting, but um, Hobby King had a sale, and I bought a few bits and pieces. Um, I've got a list here, print out of all the stuff I bought. Um, went a bit over the top as usual. Um, but I thought I'd just do a quick unboxing and show you the stuff I bought. Um, because the what I got is quite amazing really um, it's, uh, the old slice and dice open this up right basically I thought it was too good a deal uh, to pass up on some of these propellers <laughs> Of which I've got loads of them because <laughs> uh, yeah they were doing these um, all sorts of propellers and you get you were getting a pack of these propellers for a penny you get that it was a, a penny which was crazy so I just sort of went round bought about five of each so Alright, I got about fifty pounds worth of propellers for about a pound. Something like that. It was crazy. Um so yeah, I got uh these uh which were gem fan uh what are they forty forty five three bladed props and they're ball nose ones. Um so yeah, I got about five of them. Which is mental. Um, I've got these. These are a bit like the ones I bought from eBay the other week, and you, it cost me about three quid for two packs. Um, but these are Gem Fan 6045s, the orange ones with the more sports tip. They're not ball nose. So I've got five of those as well. Uh, what's that for? Five of those, and let's see the three red one. Uh, these, which ones are these? Do you think? Uh, five by four five. Uh, where would these be? These might be. Yeah, these might be gem fan as well, but they've got gem fan on them. Uh, 5 by 4.5 ball nose props. Give those a try as well. So many of them. Um, what ones are these? Can't read that. Uh, where is it? Oh, these are 5 by 5s. These are 50 50s. Um, I'm guessing they are. Oh, they're the Hobby King ones. These are Hobby King ones, 50-45. And these. These are Hobby King ones as well, 60-50. These um, put out a lot of thrust, actually, these Hobby King 60-50 all nose props. But they do draw a lot of current. Um, they're reasonable stiffness, but I thought I'd grab some more as they were only a penny. Um, maybe I'll find something to put those on. Um, oh, I bought these as well. Um, these are replacement props for the EFX, uh, EF Extra. Sorry. Um, so these are what they 6.5. No, sorry, 7.5 by 6.5. Uh, I bought a couple of those as they were. What were they? Um, where are they? These are like half price or something. Um, can't find these. Where are they? Uh, there we are. No, seven. They're uh, seven by six point five. Sorry. Durafly EF Extra props. Um, so I got two packs of those for £4.12 
and they're about that's about the price of one pack so I bought two of those um, I thought they might be worth giving a go on something worth trying um, ah yes <laughs> um, these ones these ones weren't a penny but they were a lot cheaper than what they normally were um, these are the gem fan 4045 um, uh, well they the yeah, the, the carbon reinforced nylon ones, which I've run these at over 60,000 RPM, and they are incredible. Um, actually, I think these might have been a penny. I can't remember. Um, I'm trying to find them. I should have marked what I had on there. Um, oh, no, they were a penny. Yeah, these ones were a penny. And these ones are normally quite expensive, and um, so you got the clockwise and the counterclockwise ones. I tend to just use the counterclockwise ones, but I bought ten of these for so ten packs of these cost me ten pence. And um, I love these props, and I thought I'd grab a load, um, and that should do me for almost ever, I think. Um, but these are amazing little props. Great for a tiny little mugger. Um, like I said, I bought ten of those. That's the effect of ones. That's another pack of those. So I've just got props everywhere. Um, what's these? These are uh, what have you done? These ones? These are forty forty five ball nose gem fan props. Bought another five of those. Worth getting. That's the hobby king ones. All of those gem fans. Oh, I bought um, some extensions. Let's get some more extensions. Um, yeah, so it's props everywhere. Um, <laughs> yeah, all sorts of little props. I've got so many. It's ridiculous. And oh, oh, what are these? These are. Gem fan, uh, yeah, again, 50, 45. These are blue ones. Um, I'll get some of those again, a penny, five packs of those. Uh, got some green ones as well. And I'll tell you what, if I get, um, if I ever get to 500 subscribers, I'm going to do a prize giveaway and I'm going to give away. A load of props um, because I've got so many I've, I've got just as many sitting up there I've got so many props uh, so I might give away these as a little prize and uh, but obviously it would cost me a bit of postage so um, it may have to be UK only uh, for the prize uh, what we got oh, Jim fan 60 40 props got some more of those um, ah, yeah, these were the ones that were about half price. Oh, blimey, and they were two packs, because it says on the site, it says one piece. But, there's actually two in a pack, but it says one piece. So, I can't remember how many I bought of these, I bought six, so I've actually got twelve of these. And these are, uh, what are these again? Uh, oh, that was it, 4.7 by 4. So it's a bit less pitch, but a bit wider. So I thought these might be good props to try. Because, um, different, you know, a bit longer, a bit less pitch. So may not be total speed, but, but these are high speed props. And these tend to have, um, draw a lot of current. So they've got a lot of pitch on them for what the pitch it says. So these might be worth, um, Going. I was glad I spotted those on the Hobby King site. Uh, so I bought six packs of those. Um, I think these are. Yeah, these are again 50 45s. I've got some white ones of those. Five more, five more packs of those. They were a penny. Um, 
that's the uh, these are these are Turner G. But when you buy them from Banggood, they're under Gem Fan high speed props. So they've managed, they've sort of got their name on those ones, but they're pretty good props. Um, there's so many props, it's just crazy. <laughs> Why wouldn't you buy like that? Why wouldn't you buy these for a penny? It's amazing. Um, I think these, yeah, these are the high-speed ones. I think they were like 63p a pack or something. So you get two of those for, for 63p, which is really good. So very much taking advantage of the Hobby King sale. Uh, seen the ones already. I've got some more extensions, more props. Bought some more of these as well. These are what are they? 35, 45s. Little ball nose props. Um, might make a good sports prop if you do what I did before, which was cut them into shape of a sports prop. So, oh god, I've got just props, props, props everywhere. More props, more props. It's just crazy. Um, another pack of props. Um, I bought a replacement um, accessories pack for NTM 35 size ones because I bent the mount when I crashed me Hyper Shark. Um, it might be alright, it might have been about shape, but I thought I think these were on offer as well, so I thought I'd just grab one of those. Um, uh, I started to run out a little bit of bullet connectors I bought um, I thought I had three of those maybe it was just two maybe I just bought two um, now oh, sorry, oh, more box <laughs> oh there we are there's my third packet of connectors um, also bought some neodymium magnets um, now Got a few motors as well. So what we've got here now uh, this is a Quantum 1806 2700 uh, Right, sorry about that. The uh, memory card in the uh, camera was full. So uh, it stopped the video and uh, I didn't really notice, so um, I'll do this part again, never mind. Um, where was I? I was looking at the Quantum 18... Uh, was it again? can't remember now. Yeah, 1806, 2700 kV. Um, give that one a try. That should be alright. Um, yeah, the problem with this camera is if you're not moving about or anything after a while it shuts itself off for some reason which is really annoying when I'm doing these videos um, I also got the uh, 2300 kV version as well so uh, can give that a try uh, there's a plane in mind I've got to try these in um, and these are capable of running 4S but the plane I'm thinking of putting them in um, I wouldn't be able to fit a 4S battery in it because of weight and size issues. So um, I'd be running 3S, so I want something that will turn a decent prop on 3S, but still be small and light. Um, those motors, uh, what was it the 2700 kV uh, was six pound 65, and the 2300 kV was five pound 26. So. It was a pretty good bargain there on those motors. Um, I also got um, a was it DYS 2205 2750 kV motor. Um, I found these to be pretty good. Um, I've got one of these in my mini Delta Delta, which I got uh, just here. Um, it's really good on a 4S and a 5x5 TGS prop. Uh, I was doing a bit of an experiment 
with a different prop but um didn't really work out i just haven't put the five by five back on yet um so yeah that was a pretty good setup on that but um i didn't do a motor test on that one uh i was in a rush to get it on the plane because i wanted to try it and but now i've got a new one i can do a proper motor test on that one and uh do a bit of experimenting, see what works with it. Um, got a couple of uh, Viking motors. Um, what have I got? Uh, this one is a little tiny one. Let me get that out. It's a 1308 4100 kV motor, nice little thing. Uh, let's give that one a try, that should find a home in a nice little small plane. That should be fun. It's got pretty good power on that one for the size. And I've also got, uh, if I can get it open. Was this one? This was a 1808 2600 kV motor. Um, I got that one just because it was a decent price, so I thought I'd grab one of those. Um, what were they? Uh, the 1308 was £7.50, so that was not bad. And where was the other one? If I can find the other one on here, where are we? Be on the list somewhere. Oh, here it is. Um, 1808, £7.50 as well. So, pretty decent price for those. Um, I picked up a Dr. Mad Thrust in runner. Uh, this is the 2960. 2200 kV and these are capable of running on 6S. And I picked one of those up because it was uh, about a third off again and it was just over was about 20 pounds so pick that one up for a bargain give that a try. And I also got this uh, which was again about a third off most of this sort of stuff was about a third off apart from the very very cheap propellers for a penny which is crazy um, this was £11.70 um, I don't know if you saw my unboxing of the big order from Robot Birds um, I bought a big plane, I can't actually remember the name of it, what it was I bought it was a Yak 54 or something like that um, so I got this motor and maybe going to give this one a try in that plane at some point um, I'm going to try some of my smaller planes of that size and get those built before I build that fucking great big thing. <laughs> um, uh, but this is a new V2 uh, prop drive, 4248, 650 kV, capable of running on 5S. Um, it's quite a low kV, um, but should be quite good in that plane. Um, it's an uh, experiment and it's, I'm not sure if that's going to be exactly the right motor for that plane but um, see how it goes. And with the low KV obviously I'm going to need a big prop. Um, so I bought a few props here. Um, these are all the sort of biggest ones I could get from the UK site. Uh, all the others were sold out or only in the um, global warehouse so I've got a few different ones to try um, this is a bone uh, I think it's Aerostar prop although it says APC there but it's um, they are APC copies but they don't like you saying that um, but this is a 14 by 7 electric prop uh, might be too small for that but I'll get one because it was a decent price. Um, uh, what have I got here? I've got a 
14 by 8 uh, wooden prop. And where are we? Where is it on the list? 14 by 8. Oh, this is a gas prop. I thought I'd give this one a try. There probably isn't that much difference really with these wooden props, but this is a gas prop, um, 14 by 8, so worth trying. Um, this one is an electric aerostyle wooden prop. They're both aerostyle, these ones. Uh, but this, yeah, this one's an electric and it's 15 by 5. Um, so it's a bit bigger, uh, less pitch, but let's see how it goes. Um, that was a decent price. Um, but I decided to get some of these as well, which I was amazed they had these in the UK warehouse. Uh, these are the JXF gas props, and I found these to be pretty decent. You get a good amount of thrust out of these. And although it's a gas prop, put an electric motor, they seem to work pretty well on electric motors. And this one is, where are we? Uh, this is a 14 by 6. So this is the least pitch in the 14 inch size. But So let's see how that goes. I've got that one just for giving it a try. Um, I also managed to pick up this one, uh, which is also a JXF gas prop. Worth a try. But this is a 16 by 6. So it's a pretty decent size prop. Um, so you might want to try. If it's too big for the plane then uh, I may have to go for more expensive three bladed props or something to, to get the amount of thrust I want out of such a low KV motor. Um, but yeah, it's worth a try. Um, I also picked these up because they're only a pound odd and I, I just was curious and I thought I'd get them just to see what they were. Um, it says black styrene sheet. So it's basically, so it looks like it's just a styrene plastic sheet. Um, like 200 by 250. And I've got one that's 3mm and one that's 5mm. Um, I think it says you can basically cut it shape and you can heat it and bend it into different shapes. So as it both of those only cost me a couple of quid. Um, I thought I'd get them just see if I could use them for anything. Um, try and make something out of it. Um, anyway, so that's my uh, crazy order from Hobby King. <laughs> it's, um, yeah, three stations, but it's that. Uh, it's pro pro props, props everywhere. So many props, and <laughs> that should keep me going for a long, long time. Uh, but like I said, if I ever get up to 500 subscribers, uh, I'll do a prize giveaway, and you'll get a should be a decent amount of props if you win. Don't know what the competition will be, but we think about that when we come to it. Anyway, if you like this video, please give us a like and uh, subscribe if you haven't been to it before. And uh, yeah, I just thought I'd share you this uh, with you this, this little unboxing because I just thought it was amazing getting props for a penny. So uh, I think I've um, did pretty well out of that lot <laughs> order from Bobby King. Um, so yeah, I'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.